Hi everyone, welcome back to our series where we are explaining the concept of arbitrage. If you look at the previous video where we introduced the term arbitrage and how the price differences between markets can be capitalized uh, by trading between the markets. And of course, we made some a pretty simple example for you to understand. But in this particular video, we will be taking the spot market and future markets and try to uh, capitalize if there is any significant differences. And uh, we will be introducing how this can be done and uh, how it functions. And then we will understand there is two different types of arbitrage, which is uh, the, the traditional arbitrage and reverse arbitrage. Moment you understand the spot and future prices. That's the whole objective of developing the video. So what you're going to learn out of this particular video, first you need to understand what is spot market. Then you need to understand what is future markets. And then you need to understand why these two markets having a two different prices and why this prices is going to converge towards the expiry date and how this particular arbitrage comes into the picture. And naturally we conclude this video by understanding the types of arbitrage between spot to future market, which is arbitrage and reverse arbitrage. Let's begin by understanding what is spot market. See the term spot market may be new to many of the traders, but understand if you have ever traded in Indian stock exchange, be it NSE or BSE, I'm sure you must have experienced buying shares or selling shares, am I right? Maybe your first or second trades. And those trades happened in the spot market. It is very synonymous to the cash market. So as a trader, when you place a buy order, it means you are planning to buy an asset. In this case, you are planning to buy a share. And as a trader, when you sell, it means you have to give away your shares. The point is in spot market, the settlement happens sooner the trades gets over. Maybe by end of the day, the settlement start begins. In T plus two days, everything gets over. It means you trade today your deal and then it start getting settled. Let's understand what is futures market now. If you participate in the futures market, you are actually trading the rights, whereas in the spot market, we are trading the asset. So as a buyer, when I place my order in the future markets, I'm getting the rights to buy the asset on the future date. So the point is the settlement process is not going to start by today, whereas the settlement process starts at the end of the expiry date or a settlement date or an expiration date. It's pretty much common. So any future counter you notice, there must be a date aside and that is the key date where the settlement is going to happen. So the primary difference between the spot market and the future market is the beginning of settlement process. Whereas in the spot market, the settlement starts sooner the trade gets over. Most likely by end of the day, the settlement process starts. Whereas in the future markets, the settlement process starts on the expiration date. And you can notice that visibly it's a two different market, am I right? So that actually makes us to understand the next important topic, how come the prices are different? If you look at a spot market, it is a, a separate counter, am I right? And the traders are different. And if you look at the future markets, the traders must be different. The reason is, Although it belongs to a same asset class, it is a two different a virtual place where people participate with their different expectations. So naturally you see that there is a differences in price and that differences in price are very significant. And if you see that the differences are you know, unjustifiable, then there is a scope for you to take advantage out of it. So I hope I have just made you understand why the price differences are common when it comes to the of futures and spot market. Now let's understand how the prices of spot market and future markets gets naturally converged on the expiry date. This is very important event which makes the arbitrage opportunity real because it is very common to notice that the prices can have a significant difference between spot and future markets but magically it gets converged because the future markets get settled by keeping the underlying asset, which is a spot market. So if you understand how the settlement process happens, then you will naturally appreciate that the, the very logic to see that the price of futures will track these spots and end of the day, the last minute, it gets matched. Let me give you a common man uh, appreciable example that I hope it can help you. 
the concept is like at the beginning of a month, naturally there is a difference between buying in future market and spot market. Because if I go to a spot market, I am sure that the pro settlement process begins by end of the day. Be it a buyer or a seller, I should commit my you know settlement activities starting today, and it gets over in T plus one or two days. Whereas in futures market, having made a deal, I don't have to bother anything by today or tomorrow because I have a time till month end to plan out my actions. But if it is the last day of a month, be it a spot market or a future market, although it is a two different counters, <coughs> having a two different people, but experiencing the same thing because be it enforces spot market, be it enforces future market, if it is the last day of the settlement, end of the day, the settlement process begins. So the point is when you commit through futures market on a last day, it is as equivalent like a spot market. I hope you understood this particular concept. By any chance, if you're not getting it, you have to rewind this maybe about 30 seconds before to understand it better. At this moment, I've justified what is spot market, what is future markets, and why the prices are different and how the price gets converged. So now we need to understand two different scenarios. It is very common to see that the price tends to revolve around these spot prices. I mean, the future price tends to revolve around the <coughs> spot prices. But sometime you notice that the future prices are way significantly higher than the spot price. That helps a traders to take an arbitrage opportunity because we know now the spot price is lower, but the future price is higher. Go and buy in spot and sell it in the futures and make a deal simultaneously. Because on the last day when the price gets converged, you are able to make the lock-in profit. So you need to understand the, the transactional cost involved and the interest cost, if you see that as applicable to you, and because that's a relative opportunity lost. And the over and above, if it feels good to you, you can actually trade it. That's called arbitrage. And there is something called a reverse arbitrage where you see that the future prices are significantly lower than the spot price. In that case, you can actually sell the spot, okay, sell the asset in the spot market and buy them in futures because on the future date, you were able to get the same spot, the same asset in a much cheaper price. But this is possible provided you have asset. If not, you have to go and borrow that. All these details will be explained in the subsequent videos. So what you can expect in the subsequent videos is we will be spending a dedicated video talking about how to capitalize when you have a future market which is way higher than the spot market. So that's the upcoming video. And in the subsequent video, we will be talking about how to understand when the future price is significantly lower than the spot price. So what sort of trading can be done because this may be slightly complicated, but meant for some people who have some shares. So make sure that you stay tuned, but we will be explaining these concepts in the subsequent videos. I hope this video and the time you spent with us justified and make sure that you follow us through this channel. Thank you.